Well, the recently formed Sanford Center Work Group presented some of its findings and held a discussion last night about how success should be defined at Bemidji Sanford Center. Our Josh Peterson was there and shares with us how talk of a new tax could be the answer to help Bemidji's event center be successful. In a study done by the Sanford Center's management company, VenueWorks, Bemidji's event center leaves a $24 million economic impact on the city of Bemidji. But to get the most out of the Sanford Center is all about how you define the event center's success. Ultimately, we have to de decide how do we define what success at this event center is. And so we've been meeting, this group's been meeting for a couple months, and I would, I think it's fair to say we've kind of got a couple ideas. The Sanford Center work group, which was created last fall after concerns over staff turnover and questions about event center policies, were brought forward. The City of Bemidji budgets annually a $400,000 subsidy as an operational investment that stems from property taxes. That is where the conversation began on a hospitality tax on lodging. A food and beverage tax was also brought to the table as a way to offset the use of property taxes. I think the point of the meeting last night was to further the conversation with the council and to start to formulate a plan uh, to have some community conversations about an alternative revenue here to help that facility. While one of the reasons for the hospitality tax would be to provide property tax relief, council members discussed gaining support for the tax to fund an event center with a tarnished image due to financial impropriety would be an obstacle. This building hasn't got the best uh, news going around the community, and to, it, even if the business communities and stuff, uh, it, the reputation for uh, the Sanford and the management firm that's doing it is not at its highest. But Midgey City Manager Nate Matthews says that while they are aware of the negative issues surrounding the event center, the issue that has the most impact is making sure the event center is a success. I mean, we're aware of some of the issues uh, of, of staffing and some of the financial propriety that's that's notwithstanding the, the subject that we're reviewing, which is uh, a sustainable ability to help our community. While the hospitality and food and beverage tax remains as an option, the city plans to make sure everyone is on board. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. To make sure there is no miscommunication about the possible hospitality tax, the city will be seeking public input and will hold more meetings regarding the issue this spring. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.